This is Esther Clark. And this is Micah Olson. We're on the effective agent team. We are coming with reason number seven, why a buyer should use a realtor when purchasing a new construction home. Right, and and again, we've kind of talked a little bit about representation on several of the other <laughs> One reasons. Or two. <laughs> it's, kind it's kind of, of, of a, a big deal. The builder has a job to do. Sure. To make mm -hmm. the builder money. Mm -hmm. And that's not right. bad. I right. mean, if the builder was losing money, they wouldn't be around. And you couldn't build your and, new home. And you couldn't get your new home. So their job is to get a good contract that favors the builder, yeah. that's going to make a money, yeah. that's going to make the closing quick, yeah. that's going to limit um, you know, potential snags or, right. or things right. like Issues. that. Sure. As a buyer's agent, when we sit across from that builder, there may be things that they would put in a normal contract. Mm -hmm. Mandatory closing deadlines, yes. um, extra deposits for features that a buyer's choosing. Right, um, right. You know, hey, if you choose those cabinets, we're gonna need another $2,000 yeah. of earnest money just in case you back out type of stuff mm -hmm. to protect mm -hmm. the builder. Right. When we're sitting across the desk from them and we've done 10 deals with them in the last yes. two months, yeah. we know what's supposed to be in the contract. Right, we've seen it before. What and, and then we also know what things they would like to put in the contract that aren't mandatory. Right, because <laughs> okay, so, we know that they like to make right, money too. Right, so as we're sitting there and yeah. this builder's drafting the contract, you can almost see him start to write and look up and go, uh, and change their mind. <laughs> like like out of exactly habit, right. I was going to put this mandatory I closing date. Maybe I decided maybe yeah, I Yeah, but oh, wait a minute. Esther's sitting here. Yeah, we've had this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> uh. um, so our job is to protect the buyer. Right. And we will. That's what we like to do. Yeah, that, I mean, that's that. Yeah, and we'll do that aggressively, <laughs> nicely. <laughs> but we'll make sure nicely. that the buyer's interests are represented. Yes. And it gets to the point that even just when we sit down at their desk, they know what's going to go in the contract. Right, mutual and and, expectations. Yeah, and it's and it's um, it's good for the builder, mm -hmm. but also good for the buyer. Well, and when they have us bringing more buyers to them, that's good for the builder. Yeah. Special perks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So again, representation is key. Yeah. Um, and how it plays out with writing the contract. Absolutely. Yeah.